Hi, this is Shane. Um, in today's episode, I lost the original audio, so I'm going to ha I'm re-recording this at the moment. So, um, but welcome to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And right now, I am making um, polished granite for one of the quest lines. And basically, to make polished granite, you need cobblestone, you need another quartz to turn it into diorite. Then you take the diorite and put nether quartz with that and that turns it into granite. And then you take the granite and put it into four and turn it into polished granite, which we know. All right, so that completes the quest. Then um, last week I went ahead and made the yellow antimatter and the purple antimatter. And I'm collecting the wards for those. And I went ahead, I made polished diorite by accident and I put it into the chemical dissolver but it didn't bring out anything that we need right now. I was kind of hoping that we could have done that. But no, it doesn't need, because we need to make um, beryl. And you can only get it, well you can get it from emeralds and uh, polished diorite, but not polished diorite, polished granite. So I was kind of hoping to see if I can get the beryllium anywhere else. But it's emeralds and polished granite, basically. Prismarine shard as well. Some other things that we can't get hold of at the moment um, from Atom. The Atom 2 mod. And as I said, the only way of making ber beryllium is through polished granite. And then once you've got the beryllium, you, you take... Oxygen, beryllium, aluminium and silicon and you turn that into beryl in the chemical combiner. So so yeah, so we need to make beryllium, which is it was a pain. It really was a pain. I mean it basically got the great the great hunt for nether quartz, because you need a lot of nether quartz. In order to make the brilliant I made about four trips to the nether in order to get I must have mined about eight stacks of nether quartz and it still wasn't enough to get more um, to get enough beryllium because you own you only get maybe 16 or 17 per stack but then you need three beryllium to make to go towards making one piece of beryl so I kept running out of stuff all the time and it was it was extremely time consuming to be honest I did discover that you can make granite from silicon dioxide and that helped a bit but I still ended up making I still ended up making a lot of trips to the nether in order to get the granite that I, in order to make the diorite to get the nether quartz that I needed to make the diorite to make the the granite and um yeah it really took forever i wasn't very happy about that <laughs> and um i did get killed a couple of times as well as you'll see a little bit later on in the video i died all this the first time i died it was because i got a bit too cocky and engaged a enderman but the second time, it was through no fault of mine. At least, I don't think so. There was a baby zombie. It killed me. I mean, baby zombies are evil. We all know that one. So, um... So, yeah. I also remembered that we have... Um, we have tiny progressions in the mod pack. We managed to get um, bacon as a mod reward. And a big shout out to Nighty Panther, who have been who's been giving me really good tips about um, spreading grass and also food related stuff as well. So um so yeah, great big shout out to you because you've been very helpful. As you can see, I'm back in the Nether. I am going towards the fortress. 
which isn't as far away as I thought it was. I mean, looking at it on the map, it looked like it's, you know, really far away. But at one point, I do come out of the side tunnel and you could see the fortress below me. I can't remember if I kept that in the footage or not. And um, it makes you realise just how close the, fo the fortress is to the portal, which is good. I mean, that means I didn't really have to go very far to get the to to find a fortress but I mean like I said I was looking for nether quartz and it just took forever to find nether quartz actually I think this is the second or third trip into the nether because each time I took about three or four stacks of quartz and the stacks are, I mean, the, the quartz, there's a lot of it, but it's widely dispersed. So you'd have to keep going around and looking for it in order to find, you know, you know, in order to get your, your three to four stacks of nether quartz. So I don't know if there's an easier way to get quartz. Um, I probably looked, I should have looked to see if I could have made it using the chemicals that I have. But I didn't think about that at the at that point in time. It was more kind of like I need to get nether quartz, so I need to go to the nether to get nether quartz. And I have to remember that sometimes it's not you don't really need to do that, you need to use the chemicals because it's all as it says in the title, it's antimatter chemistry. So using chemicals to make things. But there's the fortress on the screen. And um, you can see all my death points as well. <laughs> I think I'm keeping those on as a as a souvenir of just how many times I've died in this stupid nether. But um, but yeah, the the fortress isn't that far away from the portal, which is good. Because sometimes in the nether you have to go over like a thousand blocks just to find a, a fortress. So I was quite lucky in that respect. So, um, yeah, I'm looking, I'm, I'm getting, you can get some quite big veins of nether, nether quartz, which is good, but like I said, they are quite widely dispersed, so it's, you, you have to traverse a lot. So, um, it's a good thing that I had the, I don't even know what I'm doing here. It's a good thing that I had my slime boots so that I can, you know, jump, jump off ledges and so on. I can't remember why I paused. I must have been doing something. And, um, oh, there's the enderman that killed me. Because I did before, I did, I did, I got one. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's because I hit the I hit the zombie pigman as I was fighting the enderman. So a combination of the zombie pigman and the enderman is what killed me off. But I came back, I dusted myself off, and went back for my stuff. I did kill him, which is good. I got a loot box. I got an ender pearl. And then this is when the baby zombie comes up. I don't even know why he attacked me. Because I don't... Uh, I don't know. But he killed me. I mean, this time around, I just thought, you know what? Just get in my stuff and I'm going home. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not messing around with these people. Because at that point, I had... I think I had all the nether quartz that I needed. So it was just to come back. No, it wasn't. I went back. I made some. Um, I made the brilliant. I was too short. I was two pieces of, of barrel short. So I had to come back into the nether. Which is why I took the plunge off the platform by the portal. And yes, I do know that I can hit shift while I'm wearing my slime boots 
and it would stop the bouncing around that you get when you're when you fall but um the only thing is you take quite a lot of damage when you do that so i thought it's better to bounce and bounce towards a wall rather than you shift and stop that and then lose half of my hearts because i've taken all that fall damage so um at this point i'm just looking for the last couple of bits of nether quartz that i need and hoping that i don't bring any um lava on top of me because that would be a shame <laughs> but i got it i came back i made my made the last two pieces of beryllium beryllium last two pieces of of polished granite turned it into beryllium put it in with the other chemicals to make beryl that's what i meant to say <laughs> I mean, it was a long recording session. It was probably about three hours long in total. So, um, so yeah, I wasn't very happy when I came to edit the video and realised that the audio hadn't actually come out at all. So I had to edit the video in silence, which is... Because I use, I use vocal cues to help me edit, so it was really hard to edit the video with no vocal cues and then to turn around and make notes about what I'm doing at the time to then turn it into a cohesive piece of um, editing Co editing yes a cohesive a cohesive video but at this point I'm now looking at what else I can do to finish because at that point I think we're at 83 percent so I can make the other things that are needed because um, they came the things that are needed I can't remember what it is off the top of my head but it came from yellow antimatter and purple antimatter and I had used up the yellow antimatter in order to get the iodine to make the purple antimatter but I made up some more yellow antimatter because you need silicon silicon no sulfur in the middle to turn it yellow and I had quite a lot of sulfur so I made another stack of yellow antimatter and also made a stack of purple antimatter broke those down and then the chemicals that I got from breaking those down I could then use to claim the next um, the next items in the quest But here I'm having a hard time finding the yellow antimatter because they who knew they had so many yellow things. So I had to um, break it down so I could see what I needed to make the yellow antimatter. And it is um, it is sulfur that is in the middle middle. But we had quite a lot of white antimatter, which is what you need to make the coloured antimatters. And um, so I did make it. Also, the pack updated, which I sh I did well. I mentioned it at the beginning in the original original video. Um, the pack updated. There's a couple of things that were added, but I don't think there's anything. Um, there's there wasn't anything major. There might there might have been a few couple of few bug fixes as well. But um, but yeah, the pack was updated. Um, anything else? Not really. At this point, I think I am looking for chromium. Yes, because that's the other thing that we needed. And chromium, you get, and of course, it would help if I could actually spell chromium properly. But chromium, you get from um purple antimatter because they needed 32 pieces of those I don't know what you would call do you call it a piece atoms I don't know but you needed 32 chromium so um, I had figured well if I was if I'd already made the purple antimatter 
I must have had some somewhere but it turned out I really didn't have a lot so I had to make some more not purple well, this one's yellow but I must I didn't have as much as I thought I had but I really need to get a um, um, some kind of power going so I can get storage my storage because I've got everything I need for the storage it's not like I have to go and hunt it down but I need a power source so that I can get my storage going and make life a lot easier okay so then I've got enough for my 60 for my stack of chromium And then the three things that we just made, I see, from the purple antimatter we wanted van vandidium. I think that's what it is. So again I'm looking to see if I had knee in the chest. But I don't think I had any. I don't think I had any. So then I had to turn around and make more purple antimatter in order to get um van vandium. Vandium or Vandidium? I really can't remember. Because you need iodine to make purple antimatter. Because iodine is a purple liquid. It's also very good for um for sterilizing cuts. If you ever get cut, you should put iodine in it. But it stings like I cannot. It is. It stings. <laughs> it really stings. Which is putting it mildly, to be honest. You, you know, you'd want to punch out somebody if you get iodine in a cut. But it's good. It sterilizes cuts. You know, just um. You know, a little bit of trivia there for you. Not even trivia. Lifetime, life, uh, a pro-life tip. And that's when I ran out of food to put in my culinary generator. So I did end up putting in one of my bacon sandwiches um, I think the pizza was better yes the pizza was better than the bacon sandwiches so we put pizza in but then I did eventually get more cooked apples to put in there but it's enough to do what we need to do Yeah, I was just checking to see if we had van. Uh, I can't. I don't even know what it's called. I have some. I can see there in my in my inventory, but of course, you know, suffering from YouTuber blindness, I didn't see it at the time. So, um, uh. Vanadium. Yeah, there's some there. And I think there was some in the chemical combiner. Chemical combiner? No, that's not the combiner, the other one, the splitter. But um but like I said, I was suffering from YouTuber blindness, so I didn't see it at the time. And I did record quite late last night, which really didn't help me. <laughs> I should record earlier in the day and at this point I was looking to see what else I could get it from but again from emeralds mostly and we don't have any emeralds yes vanadium I think that's how you pronounce it but yeah if I look if I look in the chemical it's not splitter. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. I'm really not sure what it is, but if I look in there, I should see some. But I was also going by the assumption I needed a stack. 
so I made a lot of purple antimatter. See that? Yeah, there's 24 in there already. And so I went making loads thinking I need it and it's like oh I only need 32 okay great so I've ended up with a lot of purple antimatter which I don't really need and of course moats they call them moats so maybe that's what I should call them but then it turns out I needed all of that stuff to make the emerald cobblestone generator because if you take those three elements the chromium beryl and vanadium and put them together it gives you emeralds and the quantities that it gave you give you exactly enough emeralds um, to make the cobblestone generator tier 5 because it gives you 8 emeralds so um, so yeah so there was a reason to all of that there was a, a reason to get all that um, that all that nether quartz but it was like I said it was a real pain I spent about two hours hunting down all the nether quartz that I needed so I'm here now just making the um, the emeralds that I need it gives me eight and then I just need to take the cobblestone generator and I was trying to put it I was trying to shift click it back into the chest and I couldn't work out why it wasn't shift clicking as I said it was kind of late last night when I recorded everything but yeah but for this one you don't need to do it in the in the um the the chemical com chemical combiner which I didn't think anything of it at the time but the others you need to make it in the chemical combiner and this one you could just do it in the crafting station which which was good but I don't know if that was an oversight on the author's part or intentional I don't know but I've made my level 4 um, cobble gen Level four. That's level five. Level four was the the blaze rod, blaze rod one, and I've put an um, an inventory on top of it so that I can get all the cobblestone from it, and I put two or three um, item storage upgrades on there. There were some that we got as a quest reward. I put them all in there so that would store all the cobblestone that we need. Because it turns out that the ones, there's some that are fanning out from the cobblestone generator and those are optional. But the one directly below it to go to the deep dark, that's not optional. That is, you have to do that. So at that point I thought, well I still need a couple more things to do before we finish the episode. I went back and I made the leather that we need to make the hang glider I mean we don't need the hang glider but we need it in order to you know finish off the tab and I knew I had some protein so I went and got the protein and then promptly lost it in the sea of chemicals <laughs> in my um in my inventory but I, found, I did find it, I made the leather, and we made the pieces for the hang glider. But it's a very simple recipe. All you need is protein to make leather, which... I don't know if that's how it is in real life but that's how it works in this so yeah that's good and you get protein from fish if I remember correctly so protein is quite easy to get hold of I 
and after that it was quite simple to make the the parts of the hang glider. Yeah, I was just checking to see how, ma how many more things we needed to finish off the level. But um, we need to go to the deep dark. There's no void in it. We need to go. And to make the portal, um, we need lots and lots and lots of cobble. Which is why they wanted you to make the, um, the cobble generator. The level 5 cobble generator. And also, um, that's why they gave you the compactor for storage chests. Because you need triple and quadruple compressed cobblestone. So if you put the, um, the, the, compact, the chest compactor on top of the cobble generator it will automatically compress the cobble for you so you will get double you get double compressed and triple compressed if I remember correctly so I did um, I think after I finished recording I did take the compacting drawer and I put it on top, I went and took some of the cobblestone that was already in the generator and put it in so that it could start um, it could start um, doubling it but it will take a bit of time and I did go to see if I could start the next level without having to go to the deep dark but we need to go to the deep dark so I'm going to have to work on um, my armour I have to go I'll have to start I'm, I'm going to have to work on having some kind of storage system a proper storage system and I'm going to have to work on my armor because getting the cobble is the least of my worries that's probably the easiest thing so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to um, grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.